Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. We're back with Mass Effect Andromeda, my first playthrough of the game, playing on hardcore difficulty. Last time we finished off on the planet that we landed on, and well, it is very, very sad that our father died. We have been named the new Pathfinder, which is very, very exciting. Also, we had a bit of a issue, let's just say. So Sam is now integrated as part of us, which I suppose is good, means that uh, he will always be with us, he, no matter what happens, I suppose. But we have arrived at the, ooh, the ooh, I don't remember the name, he Helion something, something or another. Um, basically, we have arrived at the center point where all the orcs from all the different um, galaxy races are supposed to gather, but all might not be terribly well in there, so we are going to have a bit of a look at that. All right, so we are indeed moving here. We have um, my two companions, Liam and Cora. See, I remember their names. Uh, they are here. We are just uh, basically going to go to the tram and make our way there and see what the hell is up. I mean, we have we have all the humans here. Humans are good this and accounted for. Been waiting for. Let your teams know the docking procedures are now in effect. We've got 20,000 colonists still asleep, and we'll need somewhere to put them when the alarm clock goes off. As soon as we get clearance from the Nexus, we'll be following stasis revival protocols. We want to avoid any log jams, so it's vital your teams coordinate with each other and keep people moving. Any questions so far? Uh, how do we handle deaths that occurred in transit? Right. It's an unfortunate fact that not everyone will have survived the voyage. We've already got scattered reports of medical problems from that dark energy cloud we hit. If somebody didn't make it, check with the medical officer. We'll see about notifying their next of kin. I'm hoping it's a rare exception. All right, then, let's move on. <laughs> yes, that is very, very sad indeed. If someone happens to die on the voyage. And he... 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 I want it. Nexus, there we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Nexus, that is where we are going. Have a bit of a poke, see what the hell is going on. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. I think we'll see about that. Alright, we are indeed we stopping. Are. This is going to be interesting. It's... Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Also slightly dark which isn't necessarily good. I have well, discovered an unknown right. new location. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. All right, we do have Avina. You are tr sort of on here as well. We, we just borrowed you from... We borrowed you from the Citadel, I suppose. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Alrighty then. These are all basically topics that we can have a bit of a look at. So, immigration. Let's start with that. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. Well, as far as we know. Um, alright, but can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system. 
making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. Well, see, I sort of remember something. He Helios, was it? <laughs> there we go. I knew that name came from somewhere. All right, about the Nexus, then. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. No, not really. Alright, so what about the living arrangements for people uh, coming on here, I suppose? Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7, the gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3, or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. Well, it probably was a wonderful world if it wasn't for all the stuff that happened that we sort of possibly took care of. Also, I'm definitely wondering where are the other habitats and how do we travel to them? Because we don't have any mass uh, effect relays here, so I would assume we have some really, really high speed um, fr frigates or something on this uh, thing as well, presumably. Uh, why Am I going to ask what the current year is? <laughs> don't I know that? What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? So did I ask her that because I was concerned that she might not have known? I don't know. Well, let's log off. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Not really, gotta say. Uh, so, are we supposed to sort of just uh, still alive. scope the place out? Yeah, how, how are they alive? <laughs> Who's been feeding them water? Uh, all right. It's like they didn't finish building it. Yeah, almost. So when did they stop building it? That, I suppose, Hello. is a good question. All right. I, I assume we're going up. Uh, but this I do place wanna, should be packed with people. Do want to check around a little bit just to make sure that we aren't missing anything? Okay. So there is something. Oh, we might not be going up then. But I can't go with it. Oh, do I have to go down or something? You know what? If uh, that's the case, let's just check. Okay, no, we are definitely not. <laughs> I thought that this was uh, going to be continuing upwards, if you would. Alrighty then, let's jog on down here. Have a bit of a poke around. What are we finding? Right. Oh, hello. Maybe he's got champagne. There's a person here. You're very lonely. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Arc? Yes, I did. Is that going to be a problem? This is the Nexus, right? Pretty sure we parked in the right place. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. Of course, I'm sorry. It's just, we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. 
This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Hey, it's our first Turian. Uh, all right, yeah, we are absolutely here. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just, you're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. I mean, possibly. We shall see. All right, then. So we do have uh, life here, at least. But uh, where are all the other orcs? That's a... Uh... That's an interesting question. Let's uh, head on, on over to the Ops Center, apparently. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. The whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are going to be a real problem. This day just keeps getting... We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Oh, well, Asilarian, he's very tall for Asilarian. By the way, while I do like the appearance of my rider, she does look a bit bored all the time, which is not really what I was going for, but you know what? It's absolutely fine. Uh, you know what? It kind of means a lot to us as well, because, you know, we, we've had some issues. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Absolutely I am. Let's go. I'm ready to step up and do what needs to be done. I can handle it. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate.
Welcome to the Nexus. Hey, it's a female Krogan. That's kind of cool. Uh, at least I think it's a female Krogan. It's a bit weird with the uh, getup. Because um, the only time we've really seen female Krogans in the previous games, they had, uh, let's just say, fairly ceremonial garbs or something or another. They didn't generally have a battle armor or whatever you want to call it this. But that's kind of cool. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Alrighty then, that's kinda cool and nifty and all of that. Alrighty then, we have opened up this- oh, it's immediately very, very bright in here. It wasn't that bright before. But alright, we can talk to people. We have indeed apparently powered this thing on via our ship, so that's, that's good, I suppose. And uh, by the way, that woman, where, where did you go? Is it you? No, that woman who's uh, talking to us before. Her hair color was very, very... Very aggressive. <laughs> that was that was a bit weird. She also had a really weird pose. <laughs> she 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 just uh, came off a little bit weird. What are you? What the hell are you? Are you ah? You're a female Turian. I I think you should talk to like whoever it is that you talk to for office supplies because uh, that, uh, that, that, that 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 thing is way too low for you. You're like hunched over, that's that's gonna hurt your back. Alrighty then, uh, we have random people everywhere. Is this where... no, 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 that's her. We can talk to Addison. Uh, you are very famous uh, since the uh, since the uh, original release of the game. Alright, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything and right now i just want to know what happened with alec and there it is the my face is tired uh, little dialogue thing uh which a lot of people uh you know had had an issue with but uh i've actually read at some point in time that uh saying my face is tired is actually a proper uh, a proper thing you can say but it's just not very common, and I, th I think that that is uh, why it threw a lot of people off. But th there you go, there it is. All right. Um, indeed, he wanted me to be the Pathfinder, so it's all good. In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. All right. I mean, fair enough, I suppose. But why? what's up with you and uh, my father? Because you seem to be a little bit annoyed at him, even if he's just dead. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path-found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. Hey, I kinda like that one. <laughs> that, that, that was fun. Um, Alright, so what about a colonial director position, who you are? What is, the, what is, it, is it exactly that you do? How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. 
Well, it's all very, very sad indeed. All right, uh, what about the op outposts then? You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The scourge, spoiled worlds, exiles, hostiles. We can't just plot down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, with, with hostile aliens, uh, and possibly not the most uh, prolific military force, yeah, that definitely sounds like it could have been a problem, yes. Like, if the Turians had been here with all of their military, it would probably not have been as much of a problem, I don't think. Possibly. We don't know. We don't know where the... Um, the Scourge, as they are now called. We don't know exactly where they are in the sort of local hierarchy of the Andromeda Galaxy. Like, are they the apex predators, so to speak? Or are there a lot of um, sentient races that we have in the Milky Way? Don't know yet, so we'll see. Okay, yeah, we had some strange tech on the planet. Have you uh, sort of figured anything out about that? There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains and research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Yeah, probably. Uh, he did something though with it, so it's uh, definitely something we can interact with in some way. Alright, yeah, finally, what are we going to do about the hostas? Because uh, they are going to be a problem if you are going to be colonizing. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry. Fourteen months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, goddamn poetry. Well, I mean, that's true, but also, if we are just gonna be, uh slaves under another alien race because they're the, they're the only ones with weapons then is that really preferable probably not excuse me director addison Ryder. it's pathfinder Ryder, we're starving here if we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative we might as well be 600 years dead alec promised a lot none of it panned out that's what you're up against why people won't trust you why i don't trust you Prove me wrong. Well, we will make sure to path find something. I do like that one. <laughs> we haven't path found anything just yet. All right, where are the others? I'm going to talk to the other guys before we talk to Tan, preferably. So let's see where you ended up. You are... What the hell are you doing? <laughs> All right, cool. An information wall. What is this? Hello. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at Workspace Not Allocated. Please select a topic. Oh, we can do more here. All right, new person. What about me? Can I, uh, can I read about me? You are employee writer, salary code 19B, active pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? Well, there's none, so there you go. I was <laughs> almost thought that they had it wrong when they said that this you're a writer and it shows the picture of him, which is 
that's not me. Uh, all right, what's the viability status of something? Viable planets capable of supporting life are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. All right, so yes, planets. We uh, we are going to have our work cut out for us there. Uh, what's up with the status of the Nexus? Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. Ooh, I kind of like the, uh, the sign. I didn't see that it was uh, sort of going both ways. So basically, it's the uh, Citadel, but we took two of the arms, we shunted it on the other side of the of the ring, so to speak. All right, what about Staff Directory? For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For Colonial Affairs or Outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For Station Maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Alright, so she was the uh, station maintenance person. Alright then. And finally, selection process. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. Well, the first plan is a bit tricky because you can't actually breathe the air there. Alright then, that's all nice for that. We have some Asari here as well, cool. Uh, we need to go through there, and that's for... Tan, I believe. The others are not here. Uh, we have operations. Yes. <laughs> there are some oddities with how how the characters uh, animate. Like, look at her. Is that really a regular position someone has? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, may, I, I might be a little bit too critical here. Uh, Alright, uh, there she is, I think. Are you the woman with the hair? No, you are the w a woman with also aggressive hair. That color, wow. Uh, we have an arms merchant, would you know? And I thought that you were a dummy, but you are apparently a character who just... Yeah, there's some stuff going on with like how characters animate, and uh, I think I've known about this before. The Turians, they look a little bit weird in this game. They, they Their legs are slightly too bent, I think, at least compared with... Uh, how it was previously. So you're an arms merchant, but there also seems to be like a jail here? Is, is that what, what you were in there? I don't know. But okay, hello. Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. Alright, so uh, hey, what about these prices? Ouch, why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible. What with how we crash-landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest, so... Do we already have crooks? That seems weird. How much do I have? Oh, hi, you have nothing. Uh, I can sell salvage. Like, what, what would I be selling? I mean, this, this, it's very early in the game, so why don't I do... I'm, I'm gonna try. If I click that... Uh-huh, I can confirm. So what do I sell exactly? Will I be selling exactly everything here? Because I'm not... A, oh, or, or is that... Oh, is it this that I'm selling? Uh, to... Wait. 1,800. Sprouted seed vial. Wait, two. So that would be 400, 1,000, 1,600... 1,800, No, no, not that one. All right. Yeah, I think it's these that I'm selling, which I assume are just uh, stuff. All right. Th that I can do. Absolutely. And then we can presumably sell these things if we wanted to. So, for example, I have iron... But I assume that I'm going to want to keep these, like these uh, m uh, elements. I'm going to assume that I want to keep those. 
but I could sell overdrive packs. Okay, fine. You know what? That's a okay. We're gonna get back to you eventually, I assume. So that is the yes, that is the shop. You you do have weapons and stuff. A rare assault rifle. I do have the omni blade already. I do have the katana. But I could get a ultra rare shotgun. Ooh, the N7 Crusader. How much better is that than? It's better. A lot of accuracy, which is good. But all right, it, as I don't really have the money, let's not think too much about that. Let's check if we can find anyone else to talk to. Security footage. Also a container. Well, <laughs> all right then. I'll just, I'll just have those. I don't need to buy stuff. I can just uh, pick them up from random boxes. Um, all right, why... Why, why am I allowed to just check security footage? Uh-huh. So I'm just... Why am I doing this? But okay, fine. Let's check this out. From Tyrant Candras to Tan. Uh, two Candras from Tan, sorry. The other way around. As you're aware, there's, there was a mutiny aboard Nexus during your absence. Events escalated quickly, but we believe it began with a fire in hydroponics and theft in the armory. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor, but for the leaders, including your predecessor, former security director Sloan Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. Well, I've also stolen the things now. Do, uh, have I incited a riot now, possibly? We shall see. Uh, there have been uh, perfunctory attempts to catalog and address the damages caused by Sloan's people during the uprising. Supplies stolen, equipment broken, things of that nature. But I was hoping the militia could step in and draw up an official report. It's imperative we know that what we are working with if we are going to survive. It is weird that I'm reading his mail. Uh, he Candros has replied, I assume. Or do I have a... I don't have a timestamp. Uh, no, no, it is a, is a re on the damage control, so yes. Uh, Director Tan, I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. If you re really need militia oversight, I'll get Sergeant Nels to look at it. That said, it was my understanding that the Exiles were more Calyx's people than Sloan's. Isn't he the one who started the mutiny? Well, Calyx Corvanis, new name, may have started it, but Sloan made her allegiances clear. I know she held you in high regard, but I hope that you can be impartial when it comes to this task. Sloan Kelly is not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. Good. Then you won't object to sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the Exiles might have gone. When we do get Colonial Lefers up and running, I don't want any surprises. And then we get some report on the Exiles. Uh, Forward report from Recon Team 232. Trends cold. Found what looks like abandoned camps in the Pfeiffer system, but none with living inhabitants, only graveyards. The conspirator Irida was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. So, indeed, we have the cat, uh, which the race has been named, and we have exiles. So, exiles would be people. Well, from the Milky Way, and Ket are the inhabitants of the the galaxy Andromeda. I think I got that. Okay, so the random people that I wanted to talk to, none of them are here. Liam is here, or Liam, militia office. So, Kendros would be here, right? Uh, here we go. No, that's Mariette. Who's Mariette? It's, Just, it's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. Oh, is that the Turian that was actually in the, I guess, lockup then? Well, okay, what was the crime? What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have... There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. All right, we're getting into some uh, side quest stuff. Absolutely, I will. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him. I will say I love him. Uh, that's absolutely cool. We have data pad from Kandros. Lieutenant, based on that status report 16C, it seems we're no longer... 
uh, since we're no closer to gaining a foothold in any sector. Without decent recon and greater intel on this enemy, I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risk involved and continued loss of resources and lives make it hard to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expectations again. Alright then, Kendrall, so there you are. Uh, we also have Strike Team Missions. This console reports on the militia's current Strike Team Missions Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. Alright, interesting. First strike. Uh, before we talk to him, by the way, let's just, uh, let's just deal with this thing. Let's run, 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 run over to here. And have a bit of a chat with the jailer, Sergeant Aker. Help you. Pathfinder Ryder, here to see Nilk and Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkun, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Well, that's not really why I'm here. I realize that I enjoy these, uh, the right side uh, answers instead of the left side, which I sort of told, uh, uh, said at the beginning that I was going to go for. <laughs> well, okay, on this occasion, uh, let's just say that, yes, indeed, your wife says you're innocent. How about that? Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Uh-huh, but arguments don't kill people, so what happened? Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. All right, so you did kill him, but it absolutely wasn't by, uh, rather, indeed, it was unintentional. I mean, it wasn't good of you to do it, but it doesn't sound like you actually meant to do it. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Well, don't give up just yet. Don't throw on the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe I can find something that'll help. That would be great. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. And there we go. Good idea that I didn't talk to Kandros immediately, because now we have to go and talk to him anyway. Alright, we'll have a bit of a chat with Kandros. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. Alright, interesting. So you're trusting me with them. That's kind of cool. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Gotta say, by the way, his suit is very, very shiny and uh, lighty. I like it. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. Well, let's have a bit of a chat about a murder case. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. Well, alright. Uh, isn't that possibly a bit of a reach? 
Doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. Well, why don't you trust him? And you assume he's lying. What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations, go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you queue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. All right, there we go. Uh, we'll check on that in just a second. I do want to know a bit more about the cat. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The cat. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The cat don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. Alright, not really too much information, but sure. So, how about you? What happened when you came to Andromeda? What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyreen went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. Ooh, Nyreen's cousin. That's kind of cool. Uh, yes, indeed. Part of the Omega DLC in uh, Mass Effect 3. Yes, Mass Effect 3. Yes, um, that's kind of cool. They're connecting the people up a little bit. Uh, I was about to say, hey, wait, that was 600 years ago. But no, no, of course, you have also been in stasis while you were... Uh, uh, while you were traveling. She's definitely dead by now, but uh, you're, you're here. That's cool. So uh, tell me a little bit more exactly about what it is that you do. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to warn the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Yep, that's probably true indeed. So, uh, yeah, what's up with the Turians here? Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. I can definitely uh, understand that, yes. So what exactly do you do with the militia? It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. But that isn't news to you, right? Well, well, you, not so much because you told me. <laughs> Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Alrighty then, let's have a bit of a look at this then. All right, how does this work? Eliminate hazardous materials, identify the spy, investigate weapons reports. Uh, some hazardous materials, okay, so what do, what, what do we do here? <laughs> uh, time required, uh, one hour I assume, expires in, is this? Are these live? Are these live numbers? Because, okay, we have to kind of do this one then. We have reason to believe that one of our people is giving it to the enemy. Hit an enemy communication center, get us a name. There are cat. Enemies are everywhere. Alien presence or er, presence. Rewards gets us mission funds. Five of them. And for me, uh, bronze credit loot box, bronze material loot box. Do we get loot boxes? That's a bit weird. <laughs> Alright, if I do that. There's a 70% uh, chance of success. Outlaw specialist, 10, uh, plus 10 to effectiveness against outlaws. Kilo. I only have Kilo. Okay. Wait, what? Is it... Oh, right. Now that's in progress. All right. Uh, can't do anything else right now, apparently. So I only have one person. Alright, fine, and that's the mission funds. We only have 40. 
I'm not entirely sure exactly about all of that, but let's uh, let's think about that. All right, this would be the recording then from the thing on EOS. The Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence Seven A. Hiram, Hiram, they've seized the compound. Call for evacuation. We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back. No, I'm not letting your ego get us killed. Even if I have to. <laughs> Get him off me! Well, that's uh, not not a hundred percent incriminating, no. But all right, fair. Uh, who else was it that I was supposed to talk to? How do I read these icons, by the way? Can I? Do I have a map? I do have a map. Uh, Kesh's office. Speak with Kesh. Uh, speak with Tan. Tan's office, but I don't... How do I... Oh, there's also levels. First murderer. All right, so that is actually... Oh, that is actually where Addison was. All right, well, I know where that is. Let's go have a bit of a chat with that person. Run, 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 run. And she's supposed to be up here. That would be you. Hello, Cassidy Shaw. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. All right, but do we know that uh, Nilkin actually shot him then? All right, so yeah, indeed. Were there cat av uh, available uh, in the area? Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. All right. Um, I mean, it does sound uh, kind of strange. If he was sort of turned towards Nilkin and his chest burst open. Wouldn't the shot have come from the back? Possibly? All right, did Nilkin seem regretful about this? Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. Or maybe he actually didn't do it, you know. Uh, why would this chief be, ch be shocked then? If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> uh, so, would you, have a, would you say that you agreed with the chief here about his decision? Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Well, there you go. All right, well... I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Ooh, this might actually be uh, a little bit more than just um, just what we're doing here, then. We might have to go to Eos and have a bit of a look ourselves so we can find the body. Well, 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 I thought it was uh, going to be a little bit quicker, to be honest, but uh, there you go. Uh, all right, let me just rifle through your things for some ammo and stuff. Hello. Also, data pad. This is, uh, is this a journal or something? For posterity, in case the initiative goes belly up. The Nexus is uh, for Ring Circus. Not like how Tan operates, and his disdain for the Krogan is obvious. I believe his intentions are ultimately good, but he's an opportunist who's likely to create dissent. I don't see the Nexus coming together if he's left unchecked. Oh, are we gonna have to sort of depose him? 
Possibly. It was already a polarizing Addison. She's talking, uh, taken the queue to circle the wagons. I think I can talk to Cadros about this and at least try to get the two of us more coordinated, or maybe not. Seriously, hate this kind of drama. Uh, I... Th <laughs> this kind of drama. Yes, yes. I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow, so that's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. All right, Kesh, let's have a bit of a shot. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Well, that sounds good. What is it that you do here? What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Well, you do get back up your up so far. All right, so where would would the Krogan have an arc as well? Where are they on the station? I notice there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return get more say in the initiative. Ooh, what clan are you, by the way? All right, so uh, what, are, what do you call him number eight? Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Hmm. Good job. Um, okay, so what was the deal then? Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. Well, all right then. So why are you still here if that's the case? With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. All right, I can understand that. So what are the problems that you've been having at the Nexus? What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Jian Garson, was killed. Ooh, so she's actually not around anymore. Hmm, what happened there? What happened to Jian Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. All right, well, we're getting to him. So what about the problems on the Nexus? And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. Well, hopefully I can help with that at some point. Um, I do want to ask about the Yenofage as well, because uh, that's kind of interesting. Where are we with that? I mean, sure, you've uh, been in stasis, so we're not talking again 600 years after the events of the trilogy. And will they take into consideration what I did in the trilogy? Probably not. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. Uh-huh. And what was the Solarians' involvement really? What was your take? No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. Well, how are the Krogans going to uh, have a good time here now if, this, if the Enerface is still active? That's a good question, I think. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. 
During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Well, yeah, 4% four, four versus 0.1%. That's quite a lot better, yes. All right, do I have anything else? Uh, no, I'm basically done. Nothing more for now. Later. <laughs> Later. Uh, all right, so we've done that. I think that before we finish the episode, we are going to indeed speak to Tan. He is the only one left, I believe, and we have a bunch of stuff that we can talk to him about. Because uh, we've learned a fair, fair whack of things. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Well, 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 about time. I'm ready to get out there. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Well, you know what? Let's not play games with me. And also, isn't it very convenient that Eos is the planet that we're gonna go to first? Because that's where the murder mystery takes place. Well, yeah, don't play games with me. We're not really here to bet on people's lives. We can't really afford that. The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Well, I had a bit of a whipple there and a bunch of uh, codex entries. Uh, before we do all of that, let's uh, again talk to Tan. You may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Well, we shall indeed find him, but on this occasion, let's actually ask what possibly could have happened to them any idea where they went nothing certain but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for it paints the initiative in an unflattering light did you have some other business well let's have a bit of a chat about the murder charges on nilken i'm looking into the nilken rensis murder charge and i want to go to eos and retrieve chief reynolds body that isn't usually pathfinder business First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. Absolutely. Um, well, I... 
Okay, sure, I am not sure that he did it, but uh, that seems like I have taken a part or chosen a side here. And indeed, uh, let's go with the more logical approach here. The body can indeed reveal much. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Absolutely good job. All right, let's get back to the missing orcs. What's up with that? Any more information you can give me on the missing orcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian orcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Alrighty then. Uh, additional arcs? Did he say something? Have I already forgotten what he said? Anyway, uh, additional arcs. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. Well, that's kind of cool. Drell. I do like the Drell. Um, all right. So what's up with the viability on the planets? Why have that all gone down the crapper? What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. All right, so we are going to be doing a whole bunch of planning. Is, is, is this going to turn into a strategy game? I mean, I'm down for that, but uh, all right. What are, what are forward stations? What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. Well, good, good, good. All right, so what can you tell me about the problems on the Nexus? Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, is dead. So what happened with that? How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Ah, now I, I, I definitely did not c connect to what p some people were saying. So the Scourge isn't the cat, the Scourge is the, the thing that we also entered, sort of, I think. That seems uh, correct, right? Let's ask about that and see if I'm correct now. Kandros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny, and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. All right, what can you tell me about her? Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. Well, we're gonna have to deal with her at some point, I'm sure. So, where did the Krogans go? There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Alright, you do seem to have a... You know, unfounded dislike for the Krogans. Why don't you like the Krogan? 
It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Well, it doesn't seem like that. I mean, you have your uh, your superintendent. She, she, she seems cool. Uh, all right, what can you tell me about the Andromeda Initiative? What more can you tell me about the Initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. All right, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, how many species are there on the Nexus right now? It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. All right, then. Uh, well, let's... Uh, yeah, okay, we're going back here. Cool. Uh, so what were your motivations for coming? Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. Uh-huh, cool. I was hoping to hear for your uh, motivation, but fine. All right, so uh, yeah, what about the origins of the initiative? Why did we even do this? What do you know about the early days of the initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas... The doubters were wrong. Well, there you go. And finally, obviously, let's have a bit of a chat about who the hell you are. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So there might be a little bit of a gridlock there, possibly. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. Well, what do you tend to do about that? <laughs> Apparently nothing. So, uh, what doubt am I addressing here? I'm not entirely sure. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the Scourge, some at the hands of the Exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. Well, that's... <laughs> ah, you were an accountant, basically. All right, so, yeah, I I is that it? So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. Well, isn't that just lovely? He is indeed an accountant. All right, then. I think we are done here. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course, as you pointed out. We need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. And I am going to be a little bit excited to see exactly what we're doing on the different planets. That is going to be interesting. Why do you have an open panel here that's just sparking? Sparkling, sparking. Or whatever. Um, Alright, so we have a couple of stuff that we need to do. And uh, before we head over to EOS, we're going to have a bit of a chat with Sam because... They're oh! Hey, are you, are you fine? Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny. 
We had a lot of this happening, but not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Uh-huh. You said paranoia then? You know what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get you, yeah. Third time this week. It's getting worse. First one was small stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry. Understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Well, this kind of has to stop. We can't have, have uh, electrical discharges everywhere. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait, that's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Oh, absolutely I will. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one. That'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. Well, would you know, I think I know the location of at least one of them. Possibly, maybe. Would this be one? There we go. Pathfinder, <laughs> to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connected wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Okay, you know, that's pretty damn cool. Uh, but we're not going to do that today. We might, um, we might pick that up as a beginning point in the next episode. And indeed, hopefully we'll also get down to EOS and continue with the uh, sort of main mission, if you would. So, yeah, this is interesting. We've uh, powered the place up. It's all nice and shiny. We've met a whole bunch of people. There's actually slightly fewer people here than I half expected, but, uh, you know, it's just operations. There might be uh, other people elsewhere. We shall see about that. So, we are continuing our little uh, start up here on the... Uh, uh, on the Nexus, and uh, yeah, indeed, hopefully getting down to the planet as well. We shall see in the next episode. For now, though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>